Hey boys, just came back from good old Canadian Tire with some, with a whole bunch of stuff. I'll just show you in a bit. You, you know this is my truck and I do it myself, right? Right. I didn't get you here to mess with my stuff. There you go, that's the first part. What is this? No, no, what are you trying to do, take the blade out now? There's only one way to Wait, do Wait, that's it. my old one, right? Right. Okay. Thanks for ripping that out. Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. First time. Garbage right behind you. That's successful ish. Yeah, ish. See, look. This is what this is what works. So you hit this. It turns on the light on my bumpers. The one light. Mine has both. Someone needs some air. <laughs> no. <laughs> Got all the calculations. Or like, do you know how much like PSI you need in your car? Wouldn't it say like near the door? Or do you have to actually open up your owner's manual? Maybe it would say on your back door. Highly unlikely. Um, I don't think this has anything to do with it. No say anything on that back door yeah it says right here on the back door what does it say? uh 30 if i'm right here uh i don't know i can't read <laughs> so yeah. yeah let's see how much we got this one won't leak you got some extra rubber here yeah I just peeled it off for you. Oh, dude, this one's well over. <laughs> dude, this one's like 40. My goodness. <laughs> that one might be a little overinflated. Yeah, who knows? That door might not be accurate. <laughs> the door or the tire? Probably the door. Yeah, the Cadillac made an incorrect printing and then just decided to slap it on the car. Let's see what this one is at. Let, let's bet on it. I'm betting 50. 50? I don't really care. Nope, don't care. It's low, but I don't care. It's not gonna kill you. It's fairly low. This one won't be low at all, because it was installed. So this was the tire with the problem. This was the wheel that used to have the problem, but now it's new. Just drop it in the water. Hopefully it floats. 
That one's well, well inflated. I don't know how they do that. Or I don't know why they do that. Maybe they still don't want you to come by the dealership anymore and get your tire worked on. Yeah, I don't want this kid back. <laughs> This is a YouTube question. Five likes, and I'll buy one of those. Five? Five, just only so five. Goals. I know. I hit 10 on my own channel before, just to make another video, and it worked. So, I don't know, five likes on this one, and I'll buy a duck on my dash. What are you doing now? Oh, okay, putting stuff away. Just, just don't laugh at it you might get feelings hurt all right let's see it it's under the hood right you can see it oh yeah i got it it's right there oh very nice oh yeah i'm done <laughs> That's all we needed to see. That was awful close. I was hoping it did. Feels flat. backing up don't need to look there's isaiah he's off in the cadillac cadillac i think that's how it goes oh yeah he's zooming no need to signal no need to stop he's gonna be a respectable citizen what a great driver he is performance wise and safe wise great man great human being. Let's see him pull onto the highway here. Oh, he's going for it. Very nice and smoothly. Hopefully, oh, be back from Canadian Tire. Let's go. Got some. I'll show you what I got. Okay. All right, let me show you what we got. I only got one thing to say. Let's see what it is. Dun, da, da, da. Flex glue. Oh my goodness, why did I buy this? Um, I'm I feel Swift here for flex for glue. Stuff I need to glue. Like, there's a thing on my truck on the windshield. I don't know how I'm holding this phone so weird, but okay. Um, like, top of the windshield, the cover thing. I'll show you what it is. I'll show you on the Mustang of what it is. So like, oh, it doesn't have it. Well, like one of these things is the caravan doesn't have them either. Well, it's like this thing. This thing needs to be glued, especially on the back of my truck as well. So yeah, that's what I need done. Flex and the flex glue is gonna go right in my toolbox. I got this for my birthday back in October. So, yeah, here's the winter tires. They're still dirty, but, uh, yeah, whatever. That doesn't matter. So, basically, I am also planning on doing my first oil change on the Colorado. Um, that'll be in the next 2,000 kilometers I drive on it. Uh, so, yeah, uh, probably next you'll probably see me at a hardware store or automotive store like Canadian Tire buying stuff like I need drip pans. I obviously need oil, a filter, one of those, uh, those grip wrenches. I need one of those. Obviously, I got the jacks there, and um, and I got a towel. I need that, and some other stuff. But we'll get there.